Hi, Chris. Good evening and welcome to the uh, joint uh, meeting of the Dred Jamie Fletcher Library Board of Trustees and the Permanent Town Building Committee um, and Library Working Group um, of uh, Wednesday, November 6, 2024. Um, so I first have to call to uh, order with um, a roll call. Yep, here we go. Claremont? Derek, I here. <laughs> Dirk's here. Fleckner is absent. Roach, I assume, is still not here. Secor, not here. Teal? Here. Cook? Here. Hazleton? Here. Karpinski? Here. Wait a minute, let me cross out Tom Mahana. He's not here. Um, Patton? Here. Roberts? Here. Zegowitz? Not here yet. Wimberg? Here. Berlinski? Or Perkins, not here tonight. Liedberg? Here. Rainville? Here. Kristen Last, not with us tonight. Good Goodwin? Here. Monks? Here. And Amanda, I don't know how to record you. Amanda Sawyer? From um, CHA. Yeah. yeah sure. good, good evening. I'm with CHA. OK, thank you very much. So Sawyer. Yes. <laughs> thank you. And and thank you. And a reminder that this meeting is a public meeting. Uh, it is being recorded, and anything you say and anything entered into the chat becomes a matter of the public record. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> be advised accordingly. Um, with that, I know that's the first real item of business is the appro approval of minutes from our October thirtieth um, meeting. Is anybody has just to read them? I hope, and if so, are there any changes required? Hearing deafening silence, there's a motion to approve. So moved. So second. 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 Okay, uh, we have a motion by Chris Kaprinsky, second Nancy Cook. Um, so I guess we can call a roll, roll call, Buffy, please. Yep, here we go, Claremont. Aye. Dierks, aye. Fleckner, not here. Roach, not here. Secor, not here. Teal? Aye. Cook? Aye. Hazleton? Aye. Karpinski? Aye. Patton? Aye. Roberts? Aye. And Zegowitz isn't here, so we have, and I should have looked at the attendance. I'm here. Was everybody here for Jim that? Is, Jim is here. What's that? I'm Jim here. Jim is joined. Yep. Oh, okay. So, um, Zegowitz? Aye. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, zero, zero. Great, thank you. Um, next, we have a, a series of reports. Uh, first one being the architects report. Um, <clears throat> the architects are busy working on the um, mid CD pricing set, which will be available next Friday for, and on next Friday, it will go to the estimators. And then it will be, takes maybe three weeks. This will be a one that will be sort of uh, midstream. Uh, so they will continue to work where on previous phases, we've had sort of a pause, but they're gonna continue to work. And then we'll have the uh, distribute the estimate for review after the Thanksgiving holiday. So that's, that's the, the long and the short of it right now because they're they're deep in the muck of trying to finish up the drawings. Thanks. Any any questions? If not, moving on to the OPM report. Uh, the OPM report is the uh, basically the why we're meeting tonight is was for the. Uh, radon we had discussed about before. This is sort of a two-part proposal that will be um, voted on a little further uh, down doors here. But there will be a uh, radon expert. His name is Todd. He is referred to me by Amar. He uh, no, he's advised on the how the system will be put together, but he's not going to draft anything. Feingold Alexander will use existing backgrounds of the foundation, existing drawings, create a sheet just for Todd. Todd will annotate it 
Feingold Alexander will actually do the drafting and Todd will have, once he's happy with the notes and how it's annotated and things like that, he will then stamp that one drawing for the radon design. So that's what uh, we've been coordinating with that. The other two pieces that we had discussed briefly last time, still, still uh, negotiating and I have drafts from the architects, but trying to work through those additional services. So I'm not ready to present those yet because they are still uh, incomplete, but we'll have those ready for the next time. But that was, that's the long and the short on that as well. But the, again, just to remind everybody this, we're they still focused on going to bid January 24th. So that's where we're aiming. Very good, thank you. Any other questions for your PM? If not, um, library directory report. Uh, Ellen, I, I saw the email, Ellen, on the uh, lot line, but um, yes, if you want to fill the belts in. So um, Scott, Lynn Claremont, uh, Chris, and myself had um, all volunteered to be on the uh, subcommittee to uh, work with the neighbor. And um, I think having shared their first email, I wondered if potentially I should try to set up a Zoom call amongst the four of us so we could discuss it. And um, and I can share with you the history of the original um, screening on the deed that um, the land that was purchased in 1987 and the reduced screening from 1997 and bring you up to speed and we can talk about um, the way to go forward. I don't know if that works for all of you. What's, think the, about, you know, what's the date I... again? Uh, we don't. We don't have a date. We we have a, a subcommittee that might want to do some talking before we respond to the neighbor's email. Okay. Yeah, because they, they they had some requests that seemed very reasonable, and some that seemed a little more difficult. So it would make sense, I think, to get together and discuss that amongst ourselves before we, we had a <clears throat> a call with the neighbors and had any kind of disagreement amongst ourselves. Right. So I, I'll I'll take that step. Um, I, I wanted to share um, as well that uh, Feingold Alexander has been working with me um, to create a furnishings floor plan for our proposed offsite location at 515 Groton Road. Um, today, I, I spent three hours there with Leah, um, looking at uh, safety, egresses, stairwells, exits, and um, doing some real field measurements. Um, next, I really need um, this group to approve the add-in services, which Alicia will be bringing to us in the future. One of the steps that our fire deputy has insisted on is um, a fire protection engineer to assess that site to be sure um, of its safety, that it's all up to date, and to um, assess what our occupancy should could be there. So until we really know that, we can't finalize the lease. Um, we can't determine what kind of programming and services we can prepare from that site. And uh, we really do want to get the lease signed because there are a number of RFPs for moving, for storage, probably for book storage, for furniture moving that I'll need to work on and um, get ahead of for January. So, um, you know, that has been one of my top priorities. And I'll also just share that we had an initial furnishings meeting last Friday with um, Feingold Alexander and Stifura. So um, I'll let Alicia talk some about the engineering department report that we got um, after the site plan was submitted to the planning board and to the engineering department. Uh, yep, when, when, uh, when we had met with the uh, planning board, you know, obviously, and then they had time to review the documents in detail. I want to say last Thursday, 
last week anyways, they issued nine pages of comments. Uh, and so the design team has broken it out onto an Excel sheet and divvied it up as to who's responsible for what, chasing what, responding comments. A lot of them are, I'll say, uh, Westford standards that just need to be incorporated into the documents, things like that. There's a range of items on there and all of them are being addressed. Uh, they're hoping to be able to get that document. They were hoping by the end of the week, but one of the items is the planning to, the, I think the planning department asked about the additional soil, soils. They want to dig up some soils um, to check on the quality and the water table and some other things. They're going to do some additional sort of test pits on site uh, with some um, uh, folks from the town present to uh, have visual inspection of these test things. And they're not sure how that's going to um, impact some of the responses to the questions. But they're working hard and we're hoping to return those questions back to the planning board. They were hoping the end of this week, like they said, they weren't sure about the site visit on Friday. So maybe early next week. Yes, the uh, the test pits are happening first thing in the morning on Friday and yep. um, water monitoring devices are being put um, off of our septic flow as well. So those are important things that are taking place this week. And I guess um, is the, are the oh I was going to ask if the test pits are being done by Feingold's people or by the town's people. Yes, both the um, uh, Horsley Witten is going to be present, and the town is going to also be present. And we're using town just a town I, backhoe, I think, from the DPW. It's just a a little bit more of a. a they had done other um, more formal investigations, but this was asked by the um, some folks in town to be able to to visually inspect some areas in the in the back corner so there. They were so we won't see a cost. Uh, that okay. is correct. Okay, thanks. I, I guess if we're using town sewer, why are we digging test pits? Uh, it's not about that. They want to see the quality of the soil and some other things because where they're putting the um, stormwater water water detention area. Okay. Yeah, stormwater. So they want to just review soils in, in that back corner because there is some existing um, structure in that back corner. It is the was the septic overflow. The secondary leaching field. There you go. Sorry. Back corner. And so there's there is a different kind of fill in that area. Okay. Any other questions? Did you have one, Jean? Are you all set? I'm all set. Thanks. Okay. Um, no other questions. We move on to warrants, invoices, change orders. I don't think we actually have any, right? <clears throat> Correct. We can go right, right. to the additional right to the, services. Thank you. So, yeah, so uh, moving on to the yep, additional services, which we discussed last meeting, and now get to uh, put prices on and approve. And again, um, this is one is for the additional service for $5,000 for the Great on coordination for Feingold Alexander. Uh, for lack of a better term, they're going to create that sheet or sheets. I'm not sure how many it's going to be at this point for the radon expert to be able to stamp. And then the radon expert is, it says design. I'm, I apologize. It should be design and uh, through construction. He does include in his price a site visit to confirm once the, the system is installed to come out and do a visual inspection to make sure that it's been placed according to his direction. Okay, so we discussed this last time. Any any further discussion? If not, I would entertain a motion to approve the additional services and costs as as indicated and then I would say as amended to include inspection by um, <clears throat> DOPM. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Who was a second? I think Glenn did first. Okay, Glenn. okay, so okay. Thank you, Glenn. <clears throat> that being the case, we can move on to a roll call. Uh, okay, yep. Claremont? Aye. Stierks? Aye. Fleckner is not here. Roach? Aye. Secor? Aye. Teal? Aye. Cook? Aye. Hazelton? Aye. 
Karpinski? Aye. Padden? Aye. Roberts? Aye. Zegowitz? Aye. And um, one second. Buffy, I think Carolyn is Carolyn here. Carolyn is here, yeah. I, I called Roach. Oh, Why didn't she call called me? Okay, <laughs> I didn't hear the answer. Okay. 1100. Very good. So <clears throat> uh, moving on to old business. Do we have any old business to discuss? No. There's nothing on the other on the agenda, but if it was, if we had anything to bring up, <clears throat> if not new business, we need to um, approve the Amplifund monthly report from September. Um, that is require a vote for the approval. But first, did everybody review the report? And are there any questions or changes? I will take silence as a no. <clears throat> so that being a case, is a motion to approve the Amplifund monthly report. So moved. Second. Nancy, okay, great. Nancy, who seconded it? Deb. Debbie, okay, Debbie. great. Yep. So I guess the roll call, please. Fairmont? Aye. Dierks, aye. Fleckner, not here. Roach? Aye. Secor? Aye. Teal? Aye. Cook? Aye. Hazelton? Aye. Karpinski? Aye. Padden? Aye. Roberts? Aye. Zegowitz? Aye. Eleven zero zero. So, Scott, could I ask you to um, ask the joint committee here? I'm I'm wondering, and Alicia would need to weigh in. If we had um, real uh, proposals to approve next Wednesday, that the joint committee could act on together right away and move the project forward. Would everyone be able, or would we be able to at least get a quorum of the two committees as opposed to having a library working group and wait until early December um, to vote on the recommendations? I'm just, I don't know, Alicia, if we'll have. Um, well, have we can, finalized. let's. Let's schedule it, and if we don't have um, the information Monday morning, we'll cancel it. I'm hopeful that I, you know, every time I get closer with every, you know, back and forth and back and forth with emails and phone calls, but it's, um, I'm, I'm, you know, they're, they're being pushed, and they are. I would have they to, need to by Friday afternoon. Okay, so I'm sorry. Friday is Veterans Day. So, oh, right. but I guess um, maybe if the group could just indicate whether it would be possible to have a 630 joint board meeting as opposed to library working group, it would certainly help us push forward on the lease and some other things um, that we're working on. I forgot Monday was a holiday. Mm -hmm. Ellen, you want me to take it like a uh, the way I do vote, just one person? I, I don't, why don't you survey? Oh, yes. oh, thank you, Buffy. Okay, Claremont. Refine the question, please. Just is it, okay. that, is it available? Are, on are November you all 3rd? available next Wednesday at six thirty for another okay, quick, got quick it. meeting? Got it. Thank Point you. committee specifically, I think, for voting. So that's November thirteenth, and I'm just taking a vote on whether yes or no. Claremont. Yes. Dierks, yes. Fleckner, we don't know. Roach? No. Okay. Secor? Yes. Teal? Yes. Cook? Yes. Hazelton? I have a, that'll be a 7.30, but yes for the first hour, for an hour, if we can do it that fast. Okay. All right. Karpinski? Yes. Patton? Yes. Roberts? Yes. Segowitz? Yes. Wimberg? Yes. I think we can have a meeting, Ellen. Okay. okay. So uh, Alicia and I will coordinate to get um, the posting done by four o'clock on Friday and the packet out to you in advance. And if we don't have, um, if we don't have a true um, final set of documents to act on, um, we can back away to the library working group, which doesn't have to be posted, but it would be great if we could take some forward uh, votes and, and make some forward motion next Wednesday night. So I really appreciate that. 
So we will either see each other all again virtually in a week or in a month. Um, <clears throat> any other items to come before the meeting tonight? If not, there's a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. second. Okay, Dancy, your motion and Chris second. All in favor, I guess, roll call. <laughs> All in favor, roll call, sure. Claremont? <clears throat> aye. Dierks, aye. Fleckner, not here. Roach? Let's see. Caroline's still here? Yeah, no. I said aye. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> it's Secor. okay. Secor? Aye. Teal? Aye. Cook? Aye. Hazelton? Aye. Karpinski? Aye. Padden? Aye. Roberts? Aye. Zegowitz? Aye. 1100. Sorry, I, I get confused if I'm in a, in a psych board meeting or a library meeting with, with the roll call. So sorry about that. But that's um, all right. And with that, uh, good night, everybody. And uh, we'll see you in a week, I hope. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you. Bye bye.